Hey guys, we're going to be learning Great I Am. This is a song played by various groups, but we're going to be focusing on Phil Craig and Dean's version in some areas and New Life Worship in other areas, like the intro, which for some reason nobody teaches. I'm also going to be using some components of main stage to add more to the song. So if you want to get the full effect of what main stage does, don't forget to check out the cover. This song is extremely easy, but honestly really powerful. Uh, Phil Craig and Dean quoted this. I think if you love Jesus and you get to the bridge, it's going to be hard to sit there and yawn. So let's get started. So starting off with the intro, we're going to take what we hear in New Life Worship, which sounds like this. Essentially what that is, the chords for the intro are D major, we're going to have a G, and we're going to have an A. Sometimes, you know, to keep everything together, I could, we could do inversions, um, here's a D, D normal, and then G, you're going to do an inversion for G, and it's going to look like this. And then for A, it's going to look like this. Or I like to put my finger here like this. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, the difference is so small, but overall, let's get used to doing inversions when we do, uh, when we play songs, because the closer we keep chords together, the, the better everything is going to sound at the end. So this is what the melody sounds like. Pretty simple. Uh, to add a little more depth, um, I like to play the D along with, with everything. And move everything up. Let's put it together. That's it. You could go about going into the verse. Uh, number one, do it the way that New Life Worship does it. And what they do, if you hear the, you know, the, the song, you hear the piano, all you hear is the piano doing the introduction over and over for the verse. So, like we just went over. That part sounded a little different, right? Well, this is why. If you go to the chords of the song, you look up the song, you see the chords, you see that when it says, and death is alive, you see that it's a D, and I like to do this inversion, over a B minor, and we're gonna do the chord of B minor with this hand. Sounds really good. <clears throat> so that's what it is. So you could be doing the melody, but just remember, um, you know, so heaven is real and death is a lie. See? And you know, you keep on going. So that's when you go into the chorus. Okay, so that, that was pretty easy because you just keep on doing the intro over and over. However, it's really hard to sing 
the verse and do the introduction melody because you know different melody so it's kind of hard to do both but you know hope you guys could get that um second way of going about the verse is actually doing the melody um i recommend this when you're playing by yourself you know if you're playing with the band just go with you know our first way which is the introduction so i want to teach you guys how to do the melody for the verse here we go It's going into the chorus pretty cool so um you guys are gonna have to you know keep on replaying that over and over but most importantly more advanced players will tell you learn the scale of a song and this song is on D learn the scale and if you learn it it's gonna be way easier to find out melodies, to do improvisations. You know, the more and more you practice the scale, and if you're gonna focus on the song, let's practice the scale of D. Then you're gonna be like, what does this sound make? And you're gonna know it in your head, and it's gonna be way easier to do, you know. First for the chorus are gonna be B minor. G, D, and A. I like to do my G like this. Kind of connects it with the octave that I'm doing on the left hand. Then D. So, an A. Okay, so here's the melody for the chorus. Put it together. You saw that instead of doing one single noted melodies, I was able to combine most of the chord with the right hand to feel that melody. And see the B minors like this. So you're like, you're almost there. And then this is the final key for that melody, but look at this. We fill in the G. That's the D. This is the last note of the key, but check this out. The A major finishes on this. Now when you look up the song, some chords and lyrics don't really include this part, but it, it's in the song. It just, some, for some reason, they don't show it all the time. Um, so. There you go. You're the great I am. The bridge.
which is probably the most powerful part of this song and it kind of gives me goosebumps when I play it or when I hear it. Um, we're going to take what we hear in uh, Phil Craig and Dean's version of the piano of the bridge and if you listen closely what what you hear is a type of like arpeggio for the piano. Um, sounds like this. So yeah, let's, let's do that one more time. That's what I like to play. Of course, you could obviously uh, play chords if you want. I mean, that was the same chords as before. It's just B minor, G, D, and A. So you're welcome to uh, do it that way. But uh, I like to grab uh, Phil Craig and Dean's version. That's probably my favorite part of the piano um, way they do it. So let's do it once. Let's break it down once again. So I'm pretty much playing octaves to make that arpeggio, I add this one, which is almost completing the B minor. I mean, that alone comp that alone is a B minor, just an inversion of one, a really weird one. So, you know. From uh, left to right. And remember, hold your sustain. There are not many people don't hold their sustain. Down to G. We're done with arpeggio, but we're still gonna keep our octaves in the extra note. And then. Down to A. And then it completes. The great I have. For the B minor. So <clears throat> the A minor, I'm sorry, the A major that we play over here like this, uh, experiment with that guys. I sometimes put it up here instead, but sometimes I like to go, you know, down the whole piano when I do the bridge. I don't know, it sounds pretty good to me, but you know, you know, you guys might do it even better. So experiment with that, play with that. Um, after the bridge, you know, it says, Great I am. G, same chords. Great I am. Okay, so that was the melody. Great I am. Sorry, and the E. Am. Something cool that I just found out. Uh, so, great I am, great I am. I am. Go down to an A with this one, but with the. Uh, with the left hand, do an E. A great blessing, um, showing you my interpretation of this song and, and just showing you a little bit of how I would play. And I hope you guys learn from it. I hope you guys are excited to get on your pianos. Um, if you guys play any other instruments, get on those instruments and honestly just worship God through it. It's, it's great to just sit down on your own and just pray for a bit and then get on the piano and just say, God, you're the great I am. There's no one greater than you. And, you know, just play with these chords. You know, play a song, but play with these chords and just, just stick in lines in there and just tell God how great he is. It's just so awesome to do that. So I really encourage you guys to do that. Guys, once again, it's been great. It's great making videos again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's going to be more cool stuff going on. Um, can't wait to see you guys again. God bless y'all.